I have a lot of fun and I feel really fulfilled when I use the ingredients up or prepare them so we can use them up easily. Good morning, guys. Before I went to sleep last night, I was meal planning. I was thinking about the different ingredients in our fridge that we needed to use up, like the asparagus and the green beans. So I have a lot of fun and I feel really fulfilled when I use the ingredients up or prepare them so we can use them up easily. And so that's been fun. I really enjoy doing food prep and cooking. I've never made eggs in the oven, but I've wanted to do like homemade breakfast sandwiches. I think Peter will really enjoy them and I enjoy them, but sometimes eating eggs like straight up makes me have like a stomach ache and my stomach will be messed up that day. Um, okay, I think that one's done, hold on. but I wanted to try making the eggs to put on breakfast sandwiches. You can freeze them. Yeah, I'm just hoping that it works out and we'll see. We will see what happens. I'm cooking the bacon. I'm keeping an eye on it to make sure it doesn't get burned. Kitchen timer, two minutes. Like, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll just check it in two minutes, but then I'll forget. So I've set a timer. I try to set timers all the time so I don't forget. Yeah, it's been a good day. I did my best and I painted some, had some coffee, of course, all the good things. So welcome to our day. I can hear Peter outside. Here, are you checking out the Tupperware drawer? I can hear Peter. I see that he blew the grass off so the leaves wouldn't hinder the growth. And you can see like on the left, like over here, it, the fence looks light tan. And over here, it looks crazy and dark and dingy. And of course that spot right there is just wet from the power washer. So he is in the process. Okay, so here's where we're at. I'm already tasting one, so we'll see if it makes me have a stomach ache or not. But I don't really care. I mean, if it gives me a stomach ache, I'm not gonna eat anymore, but I'm still gonna finish making them so Peter can eat them. So I did the egg in a muffin tin for at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I put a couple of slices of this Colby Jack cheese on it. And then I think what I'm finding is if I slice it this way 
and then I arrange it on the English muffin. It works good. It seems to be working. There's a little, you know, spot where the egg doesn't reach, but. And then one and a half slices of bacon so that it's like three little halves. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna wrap it up in some tin foil. I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator and then tomorrow morning if he wants to eat it or if he wants to eat it for lunch or whatever he can just take it out of the foil microwave it but I kind of wonder if it would be better in the toaster oven so we'll see Okay, I just had an idea since I have this parchment paper that the bacon was cooked on and it still has a little bit of bacon grease. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cook these green beans and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be good. And I better set a timer or I'm going to forget. As I was putting the mushrooms and the asparagus away, I saw these little jars of chia seed pudding. Peter made this a few days ago. It is just a can of coconut milk and about a quarter cup of chia seeds. And it's really interesting. I think it'll take me some getting used to but I think I suspect in like a year, I will really enjoy it and probably crave it. But for right now, it's like, oh, that's odd, but good, I think. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep tasting it a little, a little bit here, a little bit there. And what? The kitchen timer just went off. But, <sighs> what? Kitchen timer, 10 minutes. I bet I set it for one minute. I think that's probably what happened. But um, yeah, I think that's how I learned to enjoy bubble tea or like boba. Peter would have a mango smoothie with boba in it when we lived in Chicago like 12 years ago or whatever. And I would take a sip and be like, oh, that's so weird. The little jelly balls were so weird and gross to me. And then I would taste it again and try to choke it down and now I love them. So I think I have to like train myself to be okay with the texture and the flavor and all of that. So I think that's what's gonna happen with the chia seed coconut milk pudding or whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> he wants to try it with some berries. I forgot to order berries in my instant cart. Aldi order, sorry about that. But I was like, we do have grapes. And so he cut those up and put it on last night and he seemed to really enjoy it. So that's good. As I was standing over here, I looked at the, I looked in the oven at the uh, green beans and I was like, man, this don't look too like sizzly yet. Yeah, that's because I turned the oven off. So turned it back on. All right, now we're in business. And I'll just let those cool off and then I'll put them in the refrigerator and they will be ready for dinner mm -hmm. hey did you just like eat a lot for a dinner yeah I'm feeling really full oh, <laughs> oh hi mm -hmm. oh hi are you playing with your turkey dinner we call this toy his well how do we say it ducky dinner <laughs> ducky dinner turkey dinner turkey dinner we were just playing a little hide-and-seek okay Okay, go find it. Usually I hide it much better, but <laughs> okay. Yay! It's a fun
fun little game if he's feeling a little antsy at night and he needs to use his brain. We like to play hide and seek. And yeah, so this is what our evening consists of. And as always. As always, see you tomorrow. Hey, wait, you guys look a little bit alike. Like your little b beautiful eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're a combination of Harry's beautiful eyes and Ollie's luscious curly locks. <laughs> no, I think people say that you, Harry, Ollie, you and Ollie look alike and me and Harry look alike. You look like Harry? <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Ollie, can you say goodnight? Oh, you look so funny. Okay, there we go. Good night.